Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Alright, so in the last part, Wyatt and Stevie had their baby. And we have been focusing a little bit on them since, you know, they had such a big occasion happening in their lives. A baby and everything. But today, for the next few parts, we are back with Carter and Clara. There is a lot of catching up to do with these two. I kind of feel like it's been a hot minute since we focused on them. Especially Carter, considering the last time we focused on him... He was rejected for a proposal, so he's been very, very heartbroken and just kind of going through the motions and getting over it. So, today he is up super early this morning, this Monday morning. It is currently like 5, almost 6 o'clock in the morning, and he decided, he woke up early, that he would get breakfast, get ready, and he was going to go to the gym before... Um, work because you know he's tired of moping around and feeling sorry for himself he wants to get back out there get back in shape feel confident look confident and oh my god kill palm oh okay oh i was about to say he's frozen okay well we have a friend okay is he coming to train us is that what he's doing i don't know but anyways yeah he needs to definitely make some more friends he eventually wants to get back out into the dating scene, but I don't really know when he's going to be ready for that. I feel like he's pumping himself up like, you know, he is, but, um, he's, he's, he's kind of scared. Oh my god, it's Wyatt. Okay, so yeah, we're going to probably work out for a little bit longer, and then we're going to go over and say hey to Wyatt. Look at him over here. He had the same idea. You know, things have been going really good with him and Stevie. Uh, actually, he was only going to be staying with Stevie for the time being, you know, because of the baby. But since the baby was born, Ryan has her daddy completely wrapped around her finger, and he does not want to be away from her. So he's, like, officially moved out of the household with Carter and Claire, which is really sad because it means he took his puppy with him and we're really gonna miss her but I almost forgot about her I was like oops I went back into their household and I was like oh gosh this is not their dog so I gave Wyatt his dog back but anyways yeah let's come over here and give him a hug and you know, ask him how he's doing and everything and as you can see he kind of let his scruff grow out a little bit he's always kind of been real clean cut in the face um I guess because it's winter, he, he wants to stay warm. So he decided he was going to go for a different look, kind of have a stubble, you know, look a little bit older. Maybe attract some more older, mature women. Who am I to say? I don't really know. But it looks like Clara, she needs to, let's have her just go to work today. And then we'll catch up with her when she gets back home. Because it is the first, well, second day of winter. And so it's not really possible for her to work from home considering her garden is covered in snow but anyways looks like these two are just catching up and like i said he does have work in two hours so he needs to reach level four of the logic skill and fill out reports before he can get a promotion so he's moving on up in his career just like really making a living he's really pushing the limits right now um but yeah why it's like yeah we definitely definitely need to you know once winter fest is over kind of get out there for new years and kind of you know by new years it's a new you you'll be ready to, to date and you know, i'm gonna keep my eye out for you bud and that's what i'm doing i'm keeping my eye out and i'm not really seeing anybody uh who is this oh my gosh i okay that is definitely not sophia i would die if that was sophia uh, but yeah he hasn't talked to sophia but i think today once he gets home from work he's going to call and see if he can speak with dalton he's put a lot of thought into it and he he's very heartbroken obviously but he, he misses dalton like he basically raised the kid uh, but he doesn't want to interfere because you know dalton is getting to know his real dad and hopefully maybe we'll come across him and I want y'all to meet him. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he's thought about it. And he's like, no, I'm not going to push myself on him. You know, uh, he's old enough. The situation's been explained to him. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to call him and let him know that I'm always here. You know. So he's definitely going to give him a call after work and whatever. And real quick, before we head off to work, let's come down here and take a quick shower. 
Hopefully we can get that done before we head out. And then I will pick back up. What time does he get off work? He gets off work uh, at 5. And I believe Clara gets off. Does she get off? At 3. So we'll probably pick back up with Clara. Um, I do want to spend a little bit of time with her and Scott and see how that's going. Alright, so Claire is back from work and it looks like she's a little bit embarrassed. Um, Claire's body seems to be going through some changes. Growing Sim from life? What? Okay, that must be from the Slice of Life mod I have installed. I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> but can we just take a second to take in how freaking beautiful Brindleton Bay is in the winter. This is my first time experiencing the snow and winter in the Sims 4 seasons. I know. I just, I kind of always start in like the fall or the spring or summer. So this is going to be my first winter fest and everything. I'm really, really excited about it. But this is so beautiful. So they have been preparing obviously for the winter. So Clara, of course, course you know y'all know she likes to decorate she's got some decorations out here cute little reindeer and snowman um she put up a christmas tree and i wanted them to decorate the christmas tree so i got the one that you know obviously you're able to decorate but for some reason like the ornaments aren't showing up and this tree skirt's not showing up but whatever i'm not going to complain too much <laughs> and i put like you know these little christmas decorations around and yeah that's about it but i'm really excited uh, this is her favorite holiday obviously she's super excited for you know uh, winter fest and to be able to cook a grand meal they will have the celebration here um, so she's feeling a little tense now. Okay, why? Are, I don't understand why she's so embarrassed. I don't understand what's going on in her life that's caused her to be so freaking embarrassed right now. I really need to get that mod out of my game because uh, once the new update comes, it won't work anyways. I just keep forgetting it's in there. But anyways, I do want to get together with Scott. So... Um, I don't know. What could we do today? I mean, we could, like, go get something to eat. I wish there was, like, a festival or something in town. Just something for them to do because it's kind of, like, boring around here right now. Not much going on. Alright, so I could not find anything around town for Scott and Clara to do. So instead, Scott decided, you know what, let's just hang out in my place i need to put my tree up i need some help decorating it and you know maybe we can cook dinner and just you know have a chill night and yeah that's what we're doing so this is where scott lives he does live in brindleton bay he lives in this cute little house right here on the beach it's very small but it's really freaking cute and they are inside right now decorating the christmas tree which is super cute and they decided to go with the red and gold theme since you know, his living room seems to have that theme going with it. But anyways, I don't know. They're really excited just to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each other because their relationship's gone kind of slow. He wants to make out with her. I did add him to the family so I could kind of control him because, oh my gosh, you know how when you're trying to, you know, narrate a story and, you know, entertain and then the sims are just up and walking around and not cooperating whatsoever well i made it simple on myself so he's part of our family right now but anyways they are excited like i said to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each other it's been a hot minute since you know they've really got into you know hang out and and get romantic they don't really yes they're attracted to each other and they have this romantic um attraction or whatever but they haven't even had their first kiss so we need to decorate our topper with red and white modern oh wait no er white and gold red and white i guess white red and white i guess that goes with it i'm not really sure um looks like she's i don't know what she's doing we need to decorate we need to put our tree skirt down let's do red and gold poinsettias with scott anyways yeah i really just want them to take that next step in their relationship um and just get romantic kind of cross that line and i think it's time that uh, clara just comes to terms with her and wyatt not happening because of stevie and the baby 
And, you know, Scott is an amazing guy. He's standing right here in front of her. Everything that she's ever wanted. Literally the entire package. And she's got these walls up because he's just not Wyatt. And so I think it's time for her to just really, you know, open up to Scott and just admit that I do have feelings for you. And I'm sorry that, you know, I've been a little bit standoffish. So, anyways... Maybe we need Scott to come over here because, you know, she is feeling a little bit cold. Um, Clara, no, honey, you're, you're not sleeping in his bed, okay? That's, that's not what we came over here to do, girl, okay? All right, yeah, that looks really good. Oh. I just don't get it. I've been trying to have him flirt with her, and Clara is just not having it. She's really confused about her feelings, and I feel really bad for her. I think that when she's in her head, she's like, okay, yeah, he's a great guy. I really like him. But then when they're together, and they're here in this moment, and he's, you know, trying to, you know, make moves on her, she just, she can't stop thinking about Wyatt and she just can't ignore those feelings. So every advancement that he has been making towards her, she's been kind of shutting him down um, lightly. Not, you know, she's just, I want, I want to th take things slow. And, you know, he's a good guy, a great guy. So, of course, I think he's going to respect that. And he's got to use the restroom. Um, she's, okay, you're, 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 not, you're not that sleepy, okay? We're, we're not doing that right now, Claire. Please, come sit down and kind of reflect on what you just did about how you just rejected him when I was just talking up how you was ready to open up. And she's like, yeah, well, Carissa, <laughs> I'm trying, okay? And I really do feel like she is because realistically she knows Wyatt and CV are together. They have a child. There is no chance. Um... But at the same time, she just can't shake those feelings. And Scott's just not Wyatt. But she's trying. And uh, that counts for something, right? And I just, I want him to... I'm sure it's it's hard on him because he's probably a little bit confused. Because he already kind of found out that obviously there's some kind of tension between Wyatt and Claire. And then now here they are a few months into their relationship. They haven't even had their first kiss. You know, she's still... She, see, she's just not, it's not working. It's not. And this is just why I love The Sims 4 so much. Because some things you can't force. You just can't force. They don't have the traits and the compatibility like the other game generations of The Sims do. But there's just a storyline that <laughs> your Sims naturally take, I guess, on their emotions and their feelings with other Sims. And so she's, it's not working. He's trying, and I think he's getting a little bit aggravated now at this point. He's like, okay, Clara, what's going on? And she's like, I mean, I don't know. I, I like you, I do, but I, I just, I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm really sorry. And um, I don't know. I, I think he's fed up with it because, like I said, it's been a few months, <laughs> you know. Stevie was pregnant for a few months, right? Realistically. And so they're not feeling each other. See, she's like, no, it's not going to work. And, and they're just, they're trying to make something work that is just never going to work, which is really sad. And I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go from here because, <laughs> really, really, where do I go from here? Because Wyatt and Stevie are together. And Clara is heartbroken because she, She's never going to be able to have Wyatt. She's, like, in love with him, and it's just not going to happen. And freaking Carter is heartbroken. He was rejected. My Sims are just not having the best love. Like, these two right here, these two siblings, Carter and Claire, just... It's not working for them at all. But anyways, I think this has been very, very awkward. Very awkward. So we probably maybe just need to give him a friendly hug. Goodbye. I think this relationship's not going anywhere. I don't think they're going to end it right now, but they kind of both know. They've kind of talked about it, and she's like, I'm really sorry, but I had a good time. Your tree's beautiful. Your home's beautiful. And he's like, yeah, the chili was good. Thanks for coming over. You're a great girl, Clara. And I, I do, you know, wish you the best in life. And she's like, yeah. 
Well, I wish you the best as well. And I'm, I'm sorry once again. So she's going to leave and probably cry herself to sleep. And I was right. It is the next morning and Clara has been completely down in the dump. She has cried all morning. She's just so freaking sad and upset. And it it just hit her. She does not know how she's going to be happy. You know, she lied. She lied to Wyatt, you know, by telling Wyatt, I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're friends. Friends, all right? Friends. No, not friends. I really like you. I'm in love with you. You're everything that I've ever wanted, and I, I can't have you now. It's heartbreaking. And then she even feels worse because she has hurt Scott. She led him on, essentially, for months, but not on purpose. She really thought that she could push past these feelings, and she can't. And one thing that Clara promised herself once she moved back in with her brother, once her and Bradley broke up, after her mom died, she promised that she wasn't going to change for anybody and that she was going to stay true to herself no matter what. And so she has to, you know stick to what she said that she's she's got to stay true to herself so she looks like she's just brushing it off now and you know it's, it's going to be okay one way or another it's going to be okay I, I don't know how honestly i don't because tomorrow is winter fest the next part will be the big winter fest christmas father winter whatever holiday going on and you know what that means wyatt will be over and that's going to suck because so will Ryan and so will Stevie. Uh, maybe not Ryan. They might actually find a sitter for her. But either way, I think she's going to come down here and kind of work out and get some of that tension out of her head and just kind of just free her brain a little bit. But yeah, I keep saying it's going to be okay. But I don't see how this is going to be okay, you guys. If anybody has any ideas on how this is going to be okay... Please let me know in the comments down below because I am feeling for my girl Claire. I know how it feels. I think we all can kind of relate to her in that sense to where you want somebody that you can never have. And it's heartbreaking. It really is. But, you know, I've gotten over it. I'm sure you have gotten over it. And Clara, she, she's going to get over it. She's going to get over it. Right now, it's just too fresh. And she's really kicking herself for ruining things with Scott. But she can't just lead him on and pretend that she, her heart is with him when it's it's not. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. It's sad. And then also, we got Carter, who is also just kind of trying to you know, get back, you know, into the single life and the groove of things and live his life. So, it's kind of like a new beginnings all over for these two as they, you know, come to terms with, you know, everything going on in their life and their relationships. Oh, girl. Girl. Not the way to start off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Her head, her brain is really rattling now. Okay. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because I'm at a loss. <laughs> don't know what to do i just i'm just sad i really thought that this part was going to be a cute little date with her and scott and then kiss under the mistletoe and her move on and it be beautiful but no i caught it in the last part when i said it is the calm before the storm because these emotions are running high and whew, you guys stay tuned if you liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up please like i said comment all of your suggestions down below your girl needs it and with that being said i will talk to y'all later bye i know the way that you think about me but i don't want to know the truth i hear the things that they say about me but i don't want to know the truth